Good morning, muffins. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. So I was asked to do an actual eyebrow tutorial today, so that's what we're gonna do. First, you're gonna wanna make sure your eyebrows are clean and your face is refreshed. And then I'm gonna introduce the products you're gonna wanna use. So, the first step is an eyebrow pencil, if you use eyebrow pencils for your eyebrows. The second is a pomade. Now, I'm gonna do one eyebrow with pomade and one eyebrow with an actual pencil. Then you're going to need your brush if you're going to be using pomade as well. You're going to need your concealer. The concealer is to get that crisp lining and cleaning around those eyebrows that everybody loves to look at. And you're going to need your brushes. Now I use two flat brushes and then I use two smaller brushes. The smaller brushes are to get those lines clean and crisp and those flathead brushes are to go ahead and blend in that concealer and make it nice and neat. You'll see why. Then of course I'm not going to do a video without showing you guys a little makeup, right? You're going to need your primer by e.l.f. I'm so excited to try that. That's a new product. My Beauty Bakery foundation that I'm going to be using. Then, of course, a little bit of blush by Tarte. This Morphe Bake and Set Banana Powder. Let's go. And then these lashes. Now, these are just some natural lashes for the video, so don't give me much. <laughs> and then you're going to need your glue, of course, to apply those lashes. And then I'm going to try this highlighter that I just bought, so I'm excited about it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm actually going to show you guys, this is the Essence Eyebrow Gel. So basically it freezes your eyebrows when you don't have an arch. So it's a very good product. I got it from Ulta, it's $2. So I'm going to go ahead and get my spoolie and brush out those eyebrow hairs, make sure they're nice and neat. And I, right now I am showing you my Morphe pencil. So I haven't used pencil in so long. Um, Morphe actually got me back into using pencils. I love this pencil, so I decided to go ahead and do the tutorial on a pencil and pomade because some people use pencil, some people use pomade, and I'm actually a pomade girl, but I'm leaning back towards the pencil. So I decided to do one eyebrow in pencil, and then you'll see the other brow is going to be in pomade. So this color, of course, you see my baby. <laughs> this color, of course, is in the color mocha, and again, this pencil is by Morphe. I love it because it also has a spoolie at the end and so you can go ahead and apply and then you can go ahead and blend it in at the same time. You don't have to pick up the spoolie. It's already attached to the brush. I love it. So now that I'm done with the pencil, I'm going to go ahead and start with the pomade on the other brow. Again, this is just an attempt. Now, I am a pomade girl again. Look at that. It's just so much easier for me uh, when I started using pomade, especially with the angle brushes. It just gives you what you need automatically. You don't have to really fill in so much. Um, please know that your eyebrows are sisters, so they don't have to actually match now, as far as the color goes, of course, I am going to make sure the color matches because I'm leaving the house today. So as I'm spooling that out, I'm going to go ahead and grab that Morphe pencil again, and I'm going to go ahead and blend that color with that and make sure that it actually turns into the same color, especially when I get ready to get into my concealer because, again, like I said, I'm actually leaving the house to go to the store soon, so I don't want to look like I have a darker eyebrow than the other so we're going to go ahead and blend those again put a little bit more on this side and we're going to go ahead and make sure those eyebrows are blended in looking great okay <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and apply our concealer so i start at the top 
and then I go ahead and apply at the bottom as well. I love this concealer by ColourPop. I love that there is a application stick. I love that because you don't have to worry about putting too much on the actual brush if you had another type of concealer. I love it. As well as that, as you see, I'm using my flat brush. I'm blending in that actual concealer, getting that arch together, and getting that line very crisp. And then I have my little bitty brush that I'm actually blending in a little bit more of that concealer to make sure that that line is in tip top shape. You don't want to get too close because sometimes the concealer actually goes onto the eyebrow and then you have to you know, make sure that you refill. As I'm spooling in, I'm making sure that that actual access <laughs> through that brush, making sure that actual access isn't on top. And then I'm getting my flat brush again, and I'm just blending it and blending it. And then we're gonna do the same with the next side as well. I would have to say the toughest thing about doing your eyebrows is you have to make sure that, again, that they are very, very blended in. Um, the concealer, I would have to say, saves us every time when we're doing our eyebrows, seriously. We can literally, as you see, have an eyebrow that's probably a little darker or a little bit thicker. But then once you put that concealer, it literally can make you sculpt your eyebrow so where it can be a thinner or it can be a little bit lighter or darker so I would have to say that concealer definitely helps us when doing eyebrows oh and the spoolie the spoolie as well because that blending definitely helps definitely helps a lot Technique brush I have to say is one of the best foundation brushes that I have used since I've been doing makeup I love real technique brushes it feels like a cloud is definitely just touching your face so at this time I'm just blending in my foundation as you can see making sure that it's everywhere in there as you can see I'm getting every spot and then you're going to go ahead and see me <laughs> put a little bit more because I'm gonna get under the neck <laughs> like I said I am an under neck foundation girl so I want to make sure that everything matches now I'm grabbing my concealer by ColourPop um, you guys I love ColourPop so much like seriously I used to just be all about their lippies and lipsticks but when they came out with this concealer line I had to try it and ever since then I've just been all about ColourPop's concealer so now I'm taking my Real Technique brush and my setting spray and I'm just getting deep and putting it deep into my skin, making sure it's a flawless blend. You don't want to make it all cakey and it makes it seem like you have pros feet and eyes. You just don't want that. So you're going to go ahead and make sure it's a flawless touch. 
So now I'm getting my Bake and Set by Morphe powder. Now I love the Morphe powder. It's way better to me than the Kim K that I used to use. It was giving me so much flashback that every time I took a picture, you could just see the white. And I just definitely didn't like that. But once I found out that Morphe had one, I definitely have been all in. And you also don't need that much. So you also want to make sure that you tap in your brush for the excess product to come off. Because if you put so much on, when you get ready to blend it into your skin, it's actually going to just be too much. So this blush by Tarte, I love it so much. I can't find the bigger one, but I got it in a gift for Christmas. So I haven't been really using so much of it because I love it, but hopefully I can find it. <laughs> and then, of course, this highlight. Now this is a liquid highlight, guys. I've never used liquid highlight. I've always just used the pad ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my egg, of course. But once before I put that on my face, I'll go ahead and blend it with that banana powder to make sure that it is a flawless touch. And then again, here we go with the real technique, making sure that it is a false blend. Now, this highlight, guys. When I tell you I'm not going to stay here, I like I am not nervous. I am so nervous for this liquid highlight, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Okay, as you see, it's going on. I had to put a little bit more. Lashes are next. Now those are some simple lashes. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the glue. I love this glue because it gives a rubber touch. And then we're going to go ahead and get this liquid liner by Ulta. I got this for Christmas. I definitely have to buy another one because I'm running out. But I love this eyeliner as well. So now that our liner is on, I'm going to go ahead and take my Better Than Sex eyebrow pencil. Again, this was from a Christmas set too from Ulta. And we're going to go ahead and put that under the eye as well as we're going to use our Tarte mascara after this to put as well under our eye. not the best with looking in the camera and putting this <laughs> under my eye so I definitely had to use my handy dandy mirror I do apologize <laughs> everybody's favorite part of course is your lashes again this is just simple lashes don't give me much <laughs> so usually I'll have my flyaways but this is just for a normal look I had a little something in my eye so of course there is the glue and we're gonna go ahead and put it on that lash and apply those lashes for this natural beat And boom, them lashes are done, honey. So this lip gloss by Mario, oh my God, guys. It is a lip moisturizer. It basically, you put this on before you put your lipsticks on, and it lasts all day. This liner is by ColourPop, of course. It is a pinkish, nudish color. I love it so much. And I'm going to go ahead and combine that with my NYX Saline color. We're going to put those together. It's going to be so cute at the end. Just watch them look.
And of course, the last important step, you have to set that face so that makeup doesn't move. So there you have it, guys, a natural look for the front room, the store, or to go ahead and just read a book. <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. Thanks. Bye.